Lee, yo, what it be, yo? What's going on, my guys? It is Scorpion Reds Tavro. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed. For mid-April energy. Yes, the 15th through the 30th. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Y'all know I love me, my Y'all know I love me my Leos, okay? Y'all are one of my number one hitters. Y'all better know it. Y'all are one of the first ones that came through the door showing me big love, and I love you so much. Shout out to all my Leos. Um, if anyone wants to book a personal or private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can feel free to do so. Um, click my About tab. You will see a few links there. My booking says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me, and you can find that booking link in the about tab once you book your reading i only do video um reading so just keep that in mind there is an option for an add-on where you can get a direct upload but you have to pay for the type of reading first and then you have to pay the extra ten dollars for the add-on if you do not want to get on camera the two video platforms that i use is instagram my instagram link is in the about tab or you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and you can send me a message on google hangouts if you prefer google hangouts instead of instagram okay so make sure you book the reading first then send me a message on your video platform and we can take it from there if this video resonates with you and if you would like to leave a love donation you can feel free the PayPal information is in the about tab as well as in the description and as you can see these decks are moving on up and it's because of the love and support that you have given and I just received two of my three decks that I just purchased from Mystic Moon Tarot. So as you can see, this is her new um, tarot deck, her Twin Flame Tarot deck. And then I also got Twin Flame Messages Volume 2. Volume 2, as you can see, I have Volume 1 here, as well as other decks of hers uh, that we will be using today in the reading. So thank you guys so much. Um, I can send love and light and support back to other um, YouTubers. Mystic Moon Tarot, she does have a page here on YouTube. So if you want to check out her readings, be sure to um, you know click her, click her video and tell her Scorpio Red sent um, sent y'all. And again, thank you guys so much for sending the love um, offerings and donations because it made it possible for me to continue to support other readers and purchase their products as well as give. Um, a different flavor to you guys every time that you guys come back to my page you guys are seeing a rotation of beautiful beautiful decks that give different imageries and different meanings so thank you guys so much for all the love and support and again if you want to send a love donation my paypal is in the description and it's also in the about tab all right let's get into the reading you guys Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you for waking us up this morning. We're feeling vibrant. We're feeling refreshed. We're feeling anew. Father God, we feel so strong. I mean, so strong, Father God. We've been waking up just like, can't nobody touch us. I'm, I'm serious. Can't no body touch leo don't nobody want no smoke with leo we just be chilling we minding our business letting our bunions breathe trying to be at ease and everything has been cool for the most part and if we got to check somebody we'll check somebody we just keep it moving it's not even we're not giving our energy to stuff that is remedial i'm sorry like you know what i'm saying we're like we're not dealing with no more remedial people like i'm sorry <laughs> which one of y'all leos <laughs> Why did I just say remedial? Why do y'all feel like y'all dealing with some remedial age children? Anyway, listen, Papa God, I'm going to let that go because I don't know where that came from. But that came from somewhere. Someone feel like they're dealing with some remedial children. And they're just not dealing with it no more. They have truly cleaned their space. They have cleaned their space. They have cleaned their atmosphere. It's a clean, clear slate. And we thank you so much, Father God. The allowing us to bring that gift of, of clean, cleansliness into our life. Hold on. Thank you so much, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of Leo. Because they done cleansed their environment. Hold on. They say cleansliness is the next thing to godliness. And shoot. <laughs> Leo said, I want to be right there next to God. Ain't nobody about to hold me back. Okay. Father God, please give me guidance for my beautiful, beautiful, my Leos. Leo, what it be? What it be, yo? Let's see what it is. Gentleness. Okay. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness and speak words of love. Okay. 
All right, touch me nicely, Leo. Touch me gently, Leo. Okay. Ooh. Who y'all been chilling with under the sunset, Leo? Being real gentle hearted and just. Ooh, I feel that, Leo. Who you been boo loving with under the sunset? God, Leo. What it be? What it be, Leo? Who y'all? Who y'all? Who y'all leaning foreheads next to like that? Ooh. I feel like Leo done um, stumbled upon a rare unicorn. Mm hmm That brings out that gentle, that kind heartedness. Leo been real romantic up under the sunset. Just loving. Like, come on now, Leo. Leo. Come on now. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness with words of love. Ooh. Why well, I feel a tingle in my back, Leo? Did you make ooh? Why well, feel a tingle in my belly like y'all made somebody climax real hard or something? Come on, Leo. Y'all having some climactic experiences out here, Leo? Come on. Can I be your friend? Can I be your friend, Leo? Oh, yeah. Hey, Lakey, like that. Leo. Spirit, please give me some guidance for Leo and his gentleness. Come on. Oh. <gasps> Being victorious and rewarded. And come on, is someone giving you all of the attention and the love that you need, baby? You coming back home victorious. You bringing the victory home. Leo. Leo. All right? Y'all are... <laughs> Listen, I see people are on their knees begging for forgiveness, honey. You are the warrior. You are the champion. Okay? You are being acknowledged by many by your strength and your honor and your dignity. All right, Leo, on some warrior shit and certain shit that people have done have not been forgiven and they will not be forgiven because it's about success. It's about triumph. It's about victory. OK, it's about victory. Leo don't found that ten of cups. All right. Leo don't found that ten of cups, complete emotional fulfillment and happiness, a safe comfortable and loving home environment where they can be gentle and honor their gentleness. Lee, I see this and some things have not been forgiven. Okay, some things have not been forgiven. And because of that, Leo was able to not be as guarded and reserved as they were. Okay, and they learned to stop giving to people that were not given to them and not allow herself to be in a situation where they're being taken advantage or someone's given it to. No, no, no. Because they want a safe, sound, sturdy, loving, and nurturing home environment. And that's exactly what they're calling into their environment. Oh, if they're nurturing with their gentle words and their kind heart. Yes, indeed. They're not, they're not going to keep their self. They're not going to keep their self away from the glory. And the true affection and true love that they need. Leo is no longer, I don't know if any um, Leo females were dealing with the King of Cups, possibly a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces male. Um, but I feel like this is a person that they're not forgiving. This is a person that they're not forgiving, this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because for the simple fact is this person they felt was real dirty. Because if you look at the up in the upright, this person is very dirty. Very dirty. Feet dirty. Just like broken car. He was not a star. Leo felt like this person was not efficiently giving me the love and the commitment that I needed. Y'all could have possibly felt like this person was a player from the Himalaya. You know, whatever he was feeling, he wouldn't say it. You know, he would never say to you how he felt. You never knew how you truly where you stood with this person and it's just why like why deal with that when I'm getting so much I mean you are getting so much attention right now Leo y'all are getting so much attention from the right people and if you would have never if you would have never stood your ground and not forgive certain things because I feel like for a certain time, Leo kept allowing this person to fuck them over. Come back, Leo will forgive them. Fuck them over. Leo will come. Um, They will come back and Leo will forgive them. They fucked them over this time. Leo ain't forgive that shit. And they are completely happy. And it don't even matter if they have someone in their home environment with them right now or not. They know it's coming. And they happy with that. They know what they deserve and what the fuck they not tolerating. And they not going to sit there and let shit from the past keep them 
reserved and keep them held back where they can't open up their self to this love. Leo is opening up their self to this love and they just know what not to give their self to anymore. They don't forgive any past behaviors. They learned a lot and they're not giving themselves to someone who ain't going to give to them. All right. And they're not going to play around with someone where they don't know where they stand. And that's where it is. That's where the fuck it is. You know, and with that alone, Leo feels very victorious. And, they, and like I said, they have a clean slate. Now they're getting the right type of attention. Anything that ain't sounding right, they rejecting it. Mm mm. They said, I'm about to step in the name of love. <laughs> step in the name of love. 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 Groove in the name of love. Groove in the name of love. And I know there's somebody coming out. It's, I don't know the word shit. Whatever. Leo just know that there's somebody breaking out the champagne, okay? <laughs> Leo says, somewhere I know. Only, okay. Discontent and boredom. Y'all ain't trying to rest and rejuvenate no more. Leo trying to get the hell out. It says, stare to your ground. I feel like Leo, I just heard, I, I, when I when that stand my ground card just came out, Leo just said in my head, I ain't got to stand my ground with nobody. I'm just not going to deal with you. Straight up. I ain't got to motherfucking stand my ground with no fuck shit. I'm, I'm victorious and successful right now. I'm victorious and successful right now. And the only thing I'm doing right now is further searching for additional wisdom because I don't have everything that I need to know, you know? So right now, Leo's just bored. They're bored. I feel like um, they're getting a lot of attention from people, but they're just bored. And I feel like that's why um, that's why they, they, anything that just don't look right, don't sound right. If it don't look right, don't sound right, it ain't going to taste right. And Leo's rejecting it. You know what I'm saying? They're rejecting it. A lot of things, a lot of, I don't, and you know what, it's not. It's not that Leo is in an unforgiving way. It's just. They've learned so much and it's certain characteristics that they're not allowing into their life. You know, whatever happened in the past with these people, if they meet someone new and if there's even the slightest little tinge of some shit that they seen there from this person in the past, that they're not forgiving and they're rejecting it. They're rejecting it. And with that, I want to say Leo is emotionally fulfilled on their own and I think this Ten of Cups is just that they're in a comfortable, loving home environment, even if it is just by themselves. Even in a dating, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I feel like this happy home is because Leo is finally by themselves and they can date and kind of just do what they want. And they are like really fulfilled and that's why they're not being guarded. But they're bored as fuck. Like they got the foundation that they need, you know. They 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 solve their problem. They have order, you know. They're managing everything correctly. It's just that they're bored. <laughs> they're bored. They're not content with what's being offered to them right now. They're getting a lot of attention, but they're not They're not content with what's being offered to them. And they don't want to rest and rejuvenate anymore. They already did that shit. They already figured that shit out. It's like they want to come out. They want to have fun. And they don't need to stand their ground with nobody because they're not dealing with no bullshit. They have to stand their ground with nobody because as soon as you come to me with some bullshit, cut. I'm reloading. Boom. I'm back at you. Listen. I'm not. Listen. I am already victorious and successful. Dun, 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 dun. Okay? I'm that nigga. Or I'm that bitch. I am he. I am she. I ain't got to stand my ground with nobody. I just cut motherfuckers off. Okay? Alright? I'm still searching for more guidance, more wisdom right now. And... I'm just bored of my options right now and I really want to come out and shake my ass and shake it tough. That's why I really feel, I feel like I really feel like Leo wants to come out and, and, and have fun and bring more love and light into their atmosphere. It's just that they ain't found that one, that one, that one, that one. However, I definitely feel that Leo has been dating and has been spending many nights Connecting with new people under the sunset, getting to know new people. And I feel like with that, that brings them happiness and they're getting the attention that they want. But for some reason, I just don't feel like 
Leo, Leo just said to me, when when the one comes to me, I know it because I can feel it. I'll feel it. They just don't feel it yet. And that's why they're, you know, a little bit discontent and bored, but they still out having fun. And I mean, because like I said, they're not watching and wrestling and rejuvenating anymore. And they feel victorious and successful. You know, it's just, it's more, it's more. It's more that needs to be revealed to them. It's more that needs to be illuminated to Leo. I'm putting that back. It's more that needs to be revealed to them. It's more that needs to be illuminated to Leo. And that's why I feel like they're just taking their time and they're just mingling and dating. And then, and, and I feel like at first they they held the guard up with people because they've been with they've been through so much bullshit with this King of Cups. And this could even be a female in this King of Cups energy. It's, you know, a man dealing with a woman and she she act like a goddamn nigga. <laughs> like her emotions is like a nigga. Like she keep her emotions so reserved and everything. It's like, I feel like Leo ain't never dealt with no woman like that. They like, what the fuck? Like, nah, I'm good. Like, bitch, you, you seem like you gonna do me dirty. Fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. What you gotta apologize for, Leo? You need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. Okay. So, what do you have to apologize for, Leo? What are you apologizing for? Be fucking grateful. Shit could be much worse. Oh, okay. So, what I want to say, I really want to say what God is saying that you need to apologize to him and then it says winning you got a good thing going don't ruin that shit i feel listen what is it saying believe in what you see listen to me this is a message this is the message that i just got loud and clear you need to fucking apologize and balance yourself a little bit more okay because i want to say to maybe this wisdom in the reverse I want to say that you guys are being afforded a certain level of wisdom that y'all are not using and y'all are complaining. Because at the end of the day, it's like you're free, you're single, you're able to do what you want to do. You're just discontent and bored because the people that you, I guess that you think that you desire is not coming to you. You're not getting that, you're not getting that gut punch in your stomach where it's like, this is it. You know, and I feel like maybe you guys have been rejecting older people because ancient shit is cool like that's what i got with that like i feel like there's a other older woman or an older man that has been trying to get your attention and like maybe you just don't want to deal with an older person but this shit says ancient shit is cool just do it i feel like maybe y'all might have carried the whole fucking shit out of someone because they were a lot older than you but this person might have might have could have bought you the balance and the things that you need, but you just rejected them merely off of their age. Um, and I feel like you need to apologize to that person for that shit because maybe they were a nice person. And I feel like God maybe has been sending you decent people, but for some reason, you just been rejecting the fuck out of people. That's how I feel. Speak words of love. Be kind. Like, I don't know. I feel like... Oh, y'all gotta apologize. Like, what the fuck did y'all do? God says be fucking grateful because you're winning. You're winning right now. And I feel like, right, because y'all are in this discontent and this, bore, and this boredom, I feel like y'all are being very ungrateful and God is not happy with that. Because you've overcome a lot. You're free. Like, everything that you wanted to accomplish... You've accomplished it, so why are you not grateful for what God has afforded you? You're free to date. You're free to do whatever you want to. And honestly, if you don't want to date other people, you don't have to, but you might be blocking your blessings. That's what I'm telling you. Ancient shit is cool. They have a lot more wisdom. Listen, you're lacking the wisdom that this older person could be giving you. Hmm. Maybe you're rejecting that wisdom. Hmm. It says, shit could be much, shit could be so much worse. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. You need to be grateful. 
And honestly, I just, I, I just heard in my head, you need to be lucky that this motherfucker is even paying your ass attention. That's what I heard dead ass. Like, whoever this older person is that you're carrying, it's like, I don't even think that they date people as young as you, for real, for real. So you you should be grateful that the, that someone with this level of maturity and this level of, like, this is a grown-ass motherfucker. Like, this person don't deal with people. Like I said, this your age because they are grown. So if they're talking to you and if they see something in you, it's because, like I said, they really see something in you. And you might be blocking your blessing. And shit, shit could be much worse. You could be, you could not be getting no attention from nobody. And I feel like you're not being grateful. You're not being grateful for the blessings that you have. You could still be caught up in that old shit. What is this? It said, I should have been more honest with you about how, how I was feeling at the time. So you need to fucking apologize to this person and just let them know like listen i should have been more honest with you about how i was feeling at the time i just got out of a breakup i really wasn't in the right mind space to be trying to date somebody so i really wasn't trying to be disconnected or i really wasn't bored with you or anything like that my mind just wasn't in it because you know i was i just wasn't there i just wasn't there and what else is this saying it says, I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. So this is what Leo was saying. I know I'm right, but I need to come to my own conclusion. I'm not the same person that you remember. Okay? So whoever this older person is that Leo has been dealing with, okay, this is what Leo has to say. All right? I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. I know you're right. But I need to come to my own conclusions. I'm not the same person that you remember. So I want to say to some extent. The reason why Leo don't want to deal with this older person. I feel like because this older person does have a certain level of wisdom. And I feel like Leo wants to learn this shit on their own. Like that's why they're rejecting this wisdom from this older person. You know. They're rejecting that wisdom because they, they want to learn on their own. They need to come to their own conclusions about shit. And I think that these are the words Leo going to say to apologize. So give me guidance about what the person is dealing with Leo feels. Your beauty still moves me. Your booty. Oh, I said, did I say your booty? <laughs> your beauty and your booty. Still moving. Okay, Leo. You done did something to him. You done did something to him. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. We will be together again. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. They said the grass wasn't greener on the other side and we will be together again. Your booty. Why well, I keep wanting to say your booty? Somebody really like your booty, Leah. <laughs> your fucking booty. It ain't your beauty. It's your booty. It's like, now let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop, bitch. <laughs> so let's figure out what this person... Let's figure out what Leo is feeling right now in love. Because if they're apologizing, they're going to let you know. I need to come to my own conclusions. I'm not the same person that you remember. You got to let me learn things on my own. And I didn't mean to just cut you out like that. But I don't like people telling me what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, that's a turn off to me. I don't like people telling me what to do. You got to let me learn shit on my own. You're not my mother. Purge. That's why they had to purge this situation. Fifth dimension. Third party. Oh, and there was a third party. Yeah, deception. And I told y'all Leo was dating. So, I mean, it's not like... I don't think that the third party was anything serious. But Leo just had... Leo just had other options. And it's just like, I'm not settling. I'm not settling. You know, I don't, I don't, 
I feel like as soon as this person tried to kind of force their wisdom on Leo and try to make Leo see shit their way, they ain't like that shit, you know? And, yeah, they, they mm -mm. I feel like it was a certain level of fear that if Leo continues and settles in this relationship, that it will be a certain level of control and they have to focus on their self-worth because they just got out of some bullshit with someone trying to control them and tell them what the fuck to do. That's why it's like, you know, I'm not taking this shit off a of pause, you know. But I will be taking action in regards to something else. Like, I'm flying ahead. Like, I'm just not the same person that you remember. You can't tell me what to do anymore. You can't. And I, and I want to say it might be a Leo male that might have been dealing with a female that might have been a little bit older than them that was kind of a little bit controlling. And to, Leo had to purge this person, you know. I don't feel like they necessarily feel like they don't need this person or that this person has no space or no room in their life anymore they can deal with you now but they're letting you know i'm not the same person i'm not the same person that you remember you can't tell me what is best for me anymore you gotta let me figure that on, out on my own and if you keep doing that i'm just i'm gonna keep wiping you out of my life and next time it's going to be for good because you gotta let people you got to let people learn things on their own, come to their own conclusions. And not to be disrespectful, but, you know, I need someone that feels me and that, un and that understands me on a mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional dynamic level. Um, and that's why, you know, I, I was dating around and I had third. And, and yeah, I mean, there, there was other people that I was dating. I told you. I told you that I was dating. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't mean to be deceptive, but I'm not settling. I'm not settling. You know, I'm dating. I'm dating. I'm dating into, I find someone that can give me, you know, what I'm needing, what I'm looking for. on That, that fifth dimensional spiritual fucking connection, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm not settling, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to be deceptive, and I didn't mean to have you mixed up in a situation where there was a third party, but I'm pretty sure I was very, very vocal, and I let you know off top that I was dating, and that you were not the only person that I was talking to, you know? So, I, I you know, maybe I need to fucking apologize to you. Shit, maybe I need to do some yoga or something to get myself balanced because I feel like there was a better way for me to communicate this shit to you. But I just wasn't going to settle because, like, that teddy bear, whenever I see that teddy bear and the settling thing, I feel like they felt like the situation was childish or this person talked to them and treated them like a fucking child. And I didn't want that shit. It was like they had a big fear that if they continue in this relationship with this person or... It, I don't even think it was a relationship yet. It was just like y'all were just dating or whatever the fuck it was. And you might have reminded them of somebody in the past that was trying to control them. And they just was like, no, 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 no. I got a deep-rooted fear that this is not going to go where I wanted to go. And I already got other people that I'm talking to. I'm just like, I'm not going, I'm not settling because I got to focus on my self-worth. Like, I'm free right now. I don't want to be trapped in something where people going to be trying to tell me what the fuck I should be doing. Okay? So... I know you want me to take action and take this shit off of pause, but I, I don't know if I'm ready to do that. I feel like I'm ready to just soar and fly in another direction, but we can be friends. Y'all, y'all excuse um, the kids in the background, y'all. Okay, so, so that's it. So I feel like to some extent, um, Leo, I feel like there's someone that you might have hurt and you might need to apologize to this person for I want to say just purging them like they want nothing like you ghosted this motherfucker like it want nothing please give me guidance in regards to this person that is in Leo's energy they're going in a new direction that's good they're not contemplating about this situation no more. And okay, that's good. It seems like y'all on the same page. Y'all are on the same page. Y'all go downstairs. Y'all are too loud. Thank you. I'm gonna use bathroom. Okay, baby. 
They're focused on their divine feminine energy. And they don't have any patience for this situation no more. That's, I mean... But they do feel like, you know, the grass wasn't greener on the side, on the other side. When I feel like, honestly, I feel like this person, this person is still enamored in the Lord by Leo. It doesn't matter if Leo's a male or a female. Your beauty still moves them. The grass wasn't greener and they, they are going in a new direction. But they feel like y'all just need space and y'all y'all reconnect together soon. Um, they have to go in this new direction and stop contemplating about working shit out because they have to focus on coming into this divine feminine energy so they can truly be who they want to be if this, you know, relationship was to come back together. They need to truly be in their divine feminine energy so they can be everything and then some. And right now, it's just they don't have the patience to deal with Leo right now while they're dating and all of this shit because they feel like they're the divine feminine and they're like, um, you're not going to be doing whatever the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And dating and no, no. And and they're saying like, I'm not, I wasn't trying to control you. I just heard that very loud in my head. I wasn't trying to control you. I was just trying to help you because they feel like Leo was lacking in his, in his wisdom and they were just trying to help. But Leo's like, I don't want you to help me. <laughs> I don't want you to help me. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness and speak words of love. Because you know what? When this card came out, it did come out in the reverse. But I want to say that it was a lot of gentle moments with this person. But this, like, the red flag went up and Leah was like, oh, no. They said, I ain't about to sell myself out again. I'm not about to sell myself out again. This is Leo feeling like I'm not about to commit myself to something that I know I'm not cut out for. I'm not about to sell myself out and commit myself in something that I know I, I can't live up to the standards of that commitment. They felt like the person that they were dating was too judgmental. Okay. They felt like this person was too judgmental. And that was a warning sign for them. They've been through this before. And they're, and they're rejecting this child. Is that shit. I'm not no fucking child. I'm not no child. Not at all. And what does it say? And I'm not going to go through the embarrassment. Because I feel like. Whoever this person was, I don't know if Leo had dealt with you in the past or if you just reminded them of somebody in the past. Whoever this person in the past used to talk to them in the public and used to embarrass the fucking shit out of them and used to talk to them like they was a fucking child. And that shit used to make them feel so empty. So empty. And they're like, I'm not going to let nobody fucking belittle me like that ever again in my motherfucking life. And they seen, they seen it. I'm not about to sell myself out and get myself in a situation with someone where they're going to be judgmental and belittle and be talking to me like I'm somebody's fucking child. I'm not nobody's motherfucking child. Okay? So if you want me to be gentle to you, you need to be gentle to me. If you want a motherfucking child, you need to go have one. I'm a grown-ass man. Don't be talking to me like I'm your motherfucking child. That's where you fucked up. And I will apologize to you. And you're right. I am going to go sit back and go do some yoga and get myself into the balance and shit like that. Um... I am grateful for the connection, but I'm winning right now. I don't have to deal with this shit. Like, for real. <laughs> Leo dead ass. This person that you're dealing with feels vengeful about the fact that you carried them. They feel like they're the divine feminine. They feel like you're projecting your, your bullshit on them. What, nobody trying to motherfucker um, control you? Wasn't no one trying to be forceful? You were projecting your bullshit. Wasn't no one trying to control you and be um, um, forceful? You know, they just feel right now you're unlovable because you got some shit that you need to deal with, you know? And you really pissed them the fuck off with this bullshit. Like, you really pissed them. Whoever this person is, Leo, you really pissed them off, you know, towards the point of vengeance. But... They just said I'm going in a new direction. I'm not going to contemplate with this shit. I'm the fucking divine feminine and I ain't got patience for this shit. I ain't got patience for this shit. And I'm not going to let you take me there. Because you're projecting. You're projecting. 
You're projecting your bullshit on me. Wasn't nobody trying to be motherfucking forceful to you at all. What are you talking about? Leo, what the fuck are you talking about, okay? You're just unlovable right now. You got some shit that you need to work on. You motherfucker, right, bitch. You need to go do some motherfucking yoga and get your shit together. Because I don't know who the fuck you thought this was, but I'm cool as shit. I might be a little bit older than you, but I'm cool as shit. And I was actually trying to help you and give you some insight. You can go ahead and do your thing. You ain't got to stand your ground with me, okay? You understand? So would you just cut me off? You ain't want to stand your ground? You ain't want to communicate? That's cool. I'm good on that. So good on you. So good on you. We're good. We're good. No miscommunications. No misunderstandings. You're winning. Okay. But you need to be grateful that a bitch like me even was willing to fuck with you. Because I'm a divine feminine. And I don't even think you know what a true divine feminine is. This bitch going. <laughs> Who y'all the fuck don't? Y'all, 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 she going in. She motherfucker, what? She like, man, you, you need to be grateful that I was even fucking with you on God. Go ahead and date these other people that you dating and shit. If it's meant to be, it'll come back. You know what I'm saying? We'll meet again. And hopefully you ain't on that bullshit. The hermit, yeah. They, they, they took their self out of this situation to kind of get their mind together. Because they knew Leo. And they're like, honestly, like, Leo, you was out here doing, you was doing other shit in the background. This person felt like Leo was being deceptive and that there was a third party. And there was. And, I, and they're like, you know what? I don't even know why I even... I feel like this person kind of... The vengefulness comes from... It's just like... I feel like this person thought that they would come around and be helpful and try to give them wisdom and love and nurturing and caring and stuff like that. And they thought that that would be enough showing them their divine feminine energy that Leo would stop dating. But Leo just got single. It's like, no, I'm not going to stop dating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to stop dating. I feel like this person that you was dealing with, they reminisce very much so about your connection with them. And it's like they kind of... It's like they're mourning that connection that y'all had. Because y'all did have very gentle moments in the beginning until they felt, until Leo felt that you were trying to control them. You see what I'm saying? And this person thinks back to all of that. They really, really care a lot about Leo. And that's why they said, you know what? If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I'm not going to keep trying to contemplate and, and, and compromise with the situation. I'm just going to let this shit go and go in a new direction. If it's meant to be, he'll take action with me. And, you know, it just hurts. It just hurts a lot. It hurts a lot. Because this person thought that they were enough for Leo to stop wanting attention from other people and that's not what happened yeah the three of swords they're they're um this person is trying to heal from heartbreak that's why they went in this hermit mode they they had to go inside and deal with their own shit the temperance in reverse leo you need to get yourself back balanced i want to say like like I said, be kind and gentle to yourself and other. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. I want to say, like, it's something going on right now, Leo, where you just a little bit off balance. I feel like you need to go and take a bath in this spiritual pool. And you need to refill yourself up with, you know, spirituality and your faith. Because for you to have all of this attention, but yet you're bored, you know, you're bored and you're not using the wisdom that was given to you. Like, I'm telling you that God feels some type of way about that shit. God really feels some type of way about this shit. Like, I did not help pull you through everything that you done came through for you to fuck around and be nasty to people. And you're winning. I put you in a situation for you to win, but you're going to fuck it up. With your outlook on life and your attitude. You need to get yourself back balanced and focused. Before. You seen that warning card. God is warning you. And they're not fucking playing. God is not playing with you. Ten of swords. In reverse. Alright. You are. um. Instead of you like. Thoroughly processing in your mind. All of the shit that you went in in the past and, you know, you feeling backstabbing and betrayed. I feel like instead of you um, getting over it, you're nursing it. You know, the pain might not be in your heart, but it damn sure is in your mind and it's affecting the way that you deal with other people. You know what I'm saying? You're the one with the lack of judgment. 
Okay? You're the one with lack of judgment right now. Okay? Mm -mm. God don't like it. God do not like it. Oh. Oh. What is this? God do not like it. The will, yeah. I told you, Leo. God do not like the way that you've been behaving. I don't know what you did. You need to fucking apologize. Whoever you, whatever you did, you need to fucking apologize. And you need to be grateful. Because God put you in a position where you went in and your attitude fucking sucks. And you, you have, because I told you this came out in the reverse. It came out in the reverse. You need to speak words of love. Honor your gentleness and be kind to yourself. Yourself and others. You need to get your mind together. That's why they saying you need to you need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. Be grateful. Shit could be much worse. You're winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Come on now. The wheel of fortune has abruptly stopped. You were going good. Things were going in your favor, but you fucked that shit up. The tower, something is about to happen that you don't see coming and that you're not going to expect, Leo. You better get, you better jump in front of whatever the fuck you did to piss God off. You better fucking fix that shit. What is this? The three of cups. The three of cups. You been like, I feel like it's one thing about. The three of cups in reverse. Like, I really do feel like y'all been in some, like, real player-ass mode or some shit like that. The six of swords. You been in some player-ass mode that you need to move away from. Because I feel like you're hurting people. And you have a lot of gifts. You have a lot of power right now. And you got to use it in the right way. Because as above, so below. What you put out will come right back to you. So if you don't use your power and, you know... Everything that you have in the right way, what you put out will come back to you. And what you, listen, what you give the other people to eat, God gonna show up, shove it right back in your face and make you eat that shit tenfold. You better watch how you treating people, okay? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Stop coming to people with false advertisement and you not offering them nothing. And, and, and you got women swooning over you. They're swooning over you. You're getting a lot of attention only to turn around and make these women feel like you're bored by them and reject them. And you, you know, you're hurting people. I feel like you building people up just to drop them on their face and God don't fucking like that shit. And you better stop that shit. And you are projecting. Ain't nobody trying to fucking control you. Ain't nobody trying to do nothing to you, Leo. You need to be kind to yourself and realize what you're doing and how you're, what type of energy that you're projecting out into the universe. Because, God, I'm trying to tell you, God do not like this shit that I am reading right now. He's telling you to fucking apologize. You need to get yourself balanced. He's telling you to do some yoga or something. And get yourself balanced and be grateful. You're winning. But this wheel of fortune, as soon as, as quickly as he started that shit rolling in your favor, if you keep acting like some, like you ain't got no wisdom, all of the wisdom that he is giving you throughout this time, if you don't know how to use your wisdom, he will abruptly stop that shit. Okay? What they say, God giveth and God will take it away. And this, this sound like a, a, a fucking phone conversation. <laughs> that shit was crazy right there. But you broke this woman's heart. And I feel like she wasn't trying to hurt you. She wasn't kind of trying to control you. You know what I'm saying? The world. The world. You need to close that chapter, okay? You need to close this chapter, and I need you to step into this illuminated wisdom that the Lord has been giving to you. This is five. This is conflict. This is challenges. Do you see what I'm saying? That means you need to adapt. Mom, I'm going to the bathroom. Excuse me, I'm not spilled my cards all over the floor. Y'all need to adapt to these changes and stuff like that. 
God ain't pull you out of that situation for you to go back to your old ways. And that's honestly how I'm feeling. Like, y'all went back to some old pimp-ass, player-ass type of way. Where y'all just, you know... Listen, it's time for that chapter to close. It's time for you to walk into this brand new world. It's time for you to make movements. It's time for you to take actions. You know, it's time to get in this new space and this new, in this new place. For real, for real. The three of coins. You really need to work on yourself if you need to go get some counseling. Like I said, yoga. You need some counseling. You need people to help you to get yourself balanced. Where you can really put the right energy and effort and action into the right type of environment and the right type of situations where you can recognize true divine feminine or divine masculine energy and you are being gentle and kind to everybody you need to continue to work on yourself and you might possibly need help from others but if you feel like people trying to control you and like your way of thinking is, is fucked up the two of cups. Your went until you work on yourself, you're not gonna find the true love that you're looking for. You gotta work on yourself because your train of thought and your thinking about this whole situation is very fucked up. And you need to be grateful for everything that God has done to bring you to this point. Cause God has stopped that wheel of fortune for you. Whatever is going on is 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 not. You not forgiving people for things in the past and you're projecting that on the people that didn't that didn't do anything to you. Do you understand what I'm saying, Leo? You can't do that, baby. You can't do that. And I know I don't even think you realize that you're doing this shit because you're still in a mental prison of some shit that happened in the past. You're still in a mental prison of some shit that happened in the past. And right now you're just trying to find a different way to kind of navigate these thoughts. So you could kind of like sneak away. Like you trying to find a different approach to kind of get out of this mental energy. Because right now you're in a prison. You went from the eight of swords to the seven of swords. So you're trying to escape from this mental prison. But you don't realize that you're projecting your fears on other people. And that's putting it to the point where you're rejecting love. Like people have been sending messages to you because they want to start a new passionate beginning with you okay there's been a lot of new communication because people want to start something with you that can grow you know however this queen of wands energy because of this projecting you might be attracting the wrong type of women to you and for my leo women y'all might be projecting yourself off to be a very angry resentful type of person like you know what i'm saying like like a scorn type of woman you're coming off like a scorn type of woman and it's like people are sending you messages trying to start new beginnings with you but you're coming off like a scorn bitch to people that didn't do shit to you all right and that's why nothing is moving forward that's why you don't know how to move forward with people and that's why you're coming off so fucking you've been having some very very bad words with people the way you come off to people is not right and you need to you need to go within and you need to take care of yourself and you need to get yourself together okay because you're getting a lot of attention right now but you're, you're you're not doing the right things with it you need to be gentle with yourself i feel like you're in this mental prison and it's driving you crazy and you 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 need to you need to just you need to this hermit mode you need to go within i don't feel like you need to be be dating right now i don't feel like you need to be dating right now and you are successful and you are victorious right now cuz you've overcome a lot but i don't you're still lacking this wisdom i don't think you need to be dating right now you need to be able to adapt to this new world you need to be able to adapt and heal yourself and get yourself out of this mental prison without projecting the past into your new reality. You get me? Leo, I love you. I hope that this um, resonated and gave you clarity so that you can navigate this new world. God has, God has given you a brand new, a brand new start. Don't fuck it up. You see what I'm saying? 
don't fuck it up leo i love you so uh if this video resonated y'all hit that thumbs up button all right if you want a book Make sure that you select the type of reading that you want and select the video platform. If this video resonated, you want to uh, give a love donation, you can feel free to do so. I love you guys. Love and light. Prosperity. Next month, trust me, we're going to have some better energy because you, you already know how Leo is because you only got to tell Leo something. I feel like it's the source. It's the source of where the information is coming from. It's about the source of the information. Whoever this person over here that was the source of this information that was trying to help Leo, Leo wasn't asking you to help them. So they didn't want to hear that shit. I guess. Like, it's the source. And you know, once... The information comes from the right source. It don't take Leo no time to get their shit together and to pull their shit together. It don't take no time. It don't take no time at all. So, um, I know whoever this was, they were like, they don't, they're not being patient in this situation. They're just moving forward. That's probably the best thing for you to do for both of y'all. Because both of you guys need to have some time to yourself and celebrate and acknowledge yourself and be proud of yourself for standing your ground and or not standing your ground you know what i'm saying because certain shit you ain't even gotta fight for you ain't even gotta be putting yourself out there to be feeling like you gotta stand your ground for something that you feel like is beneath you so don't contemplate don't give your energy especially to someone that you feel like is projecting their bullshit on you you did the right thing and leo you did the right thing leo you not ready you know you felt like you was going to sell yourself out both of y'all did the right thing for each other love and life peace love and prosperity i love you guys